Hey everyone, so you've hit how to use Pale Tools FC24 SBC. So I'm going to try and answer that question for you here. Uh, Pale Tools is something I've only fairly recently discovered and it is a massive game changer for FC24. If this is useful to you, hit that subscribe will you? I've got loads of plans for FC24 and FC25 coming up. But let's get to it. What do we use Pale Tools for? What is it? How do you install it? That sort of stuff. And more importantly, how do we use it for SBCs? So if you've not got it installed yet, here's what you do. Okay, so first of all, you want to be going to pale.tools. No other URL. This is the official one. So this is what it tells you about it. It's a tool that helps you with everyday tasks in EAFC Ultimate Team. It consists of a set of plugins that will assist you in sniping, completing SBCs, opening multiple packs with a single click and keyboard shortcuts for different tasks, amongst other things. And then it tells you about the different flavors. There's the original, which is just a bookmark. There's the pale droid and then these injected companion only for Android. OK, so depending on what you're on will depend on which one of these you go for. Now, the interesting thing for me is the temper monkey version, because what this allows you to do is have it as an extension. And then when you log into your EA, uh, you know, FUT app, this will show automatically for you in the corner. So if you look here, this shows in this single login that I've got. So that's what I suggest you do. Now I'm in Chrome on the Mac, but the process should be similar on the PC if that's what you're on. So you go ahead and you install one of these. Now, if you're going to do the temper monkey version, what you need to do first of all is go to the Chrome web store and look for temper monkey. Now, if you're worried about that, this is the ratings to look at. You can see it's got 71.6 thousand ratings, 11 million users. It's very popular. Don't worry about this, install Tampa Monkey. What Tampa Monkey allows you to use is a set of scripts as an extension, and that's key for getting Pale Tools installed, okay? So install that first, and then what you should have in your extensions bar here is Tampa Monkey. Once you've installed Tampa Monkey, you then wanna go back to Pale Tools and install this one. So the link for the desktop and iOS uh, version of Tampa Monkey, or you can click one of these, so Pale Tools here, uh, and then it will lead you to this and it'll say loading, loading, loading. And the one that we're interested in is Pale Tools Tampa Monkey. So click to install. We click that one. And what it should say here is install for you. I've already got it installed. So you can see if there was a problem with it, I can say reinstall. So when that's all installed, have a little look at the extensions, which is here. And then the dot, dot, dot. And a couple of things you want to do. First of all, if you have a little look at options, this is the one that shows you your settings and you installed user scripts. Click on that and just make sure Pale Tools is there and it's enabled. If so, happy days, it's all set up for you. There's one other thing you should also check if it's not working, which is Tampa Monkey. Go to Manage Extension and make sure Developer Mode is on uh, because sometimes it needs that to update things. So you can click that. Uh, what I suggest you do then is quit your browser and then log into the Foot app and you should hopefully see that this will then activate so you can use it so if it, pale tools has been installed what you should see is a little spanner here and on this page here there's loads of settings that you can mess around with um, to help you with the system if you put some on and you decide that's not right you can always reset, reset to defaults here uh, but you've got things like you can claim all rewards you can uh, compare prices uh, there's all sorts of interesting stuff here now what i'm going to stick to here is sbc's because that's the point of the video but i might show a couple of other minor things about pale tools while we're here as well okay so let's talk about sbc's and pale tools in the foot app if you click on your sbc on the left hand side you'll see all sbc's that are available and one of the cool things that you're going to do again and again when you're using pale tools is favorite certain sbc's and then do them again and again Anything that you want to favorite, you can just hit this little star icon. So for example, the footy's guaranteed upgrade. If I wanted to do that one lots, I could star it. And the point about this is rather than you have to trawl all through here to find, for example, I don't know, uh, let's say you were going to do the silver upgrade regularly, you could favorite it and make sure that it's sitting in your favorites to save you scrolling about. So you can see I've got a few in my favorites here, just a quick test, but you can see this particular one, the footies crafting upgrade. I've done it a whopping 62 times. Now I did that this morning uh, and that gives you an idea of how quick you can do things. So I'm going to show you how this works now and you can do exactly the same yourself. So footies crafting upgrade, that would be in the upgrade section normally. I'll just show you that's where it is. So all I did was I went in there and there's the favorite there. So you can access it either place here. So the key thing that you've got 
uh, when you add pay or tools though are these things here which you won't normally have uh, access to when you're actually building squad building challenges in the foot app and what's really cool with this check this out right so this is not full at the minute if i hit this button i am done you're like what what kind of voodoo is that? I'm going to show you exactly. So let's clear that and explain what is going on. So we'll clear the squad. Uh, what I've got is a template. So each SBC that you are going to do a lot of, you can build a template. And then what will happen is Pale Tools will use that to generate the squad for you. So you've got to do a little bit of this depending on how complicated the squad building challenge is. So this one, you can see it says that we need a rare minimum of one player. We need player quality of exactly gold. A number of the players in the squad needs to be 11. And if I just click that again using that template, check it out, all three are ticked. So how did I do that? Let's clear the squad once more and I'll explain. So down here, you've got this SBC, edit to SBC template key e and the other thing here is you can start using shortcuts so you can use e to get come into here if you want um, so i'm going to use that here and this is what i built for this sbc so i've basically added two rules i've got a rating of low to high untradables only on minimum ratings number of players max players from the same club ignore player positions because this SPC that's not important um, I could also have a non-important leagues only if I wanted if I wanted to reserve players for other squad building challenges I've set the card quality to gold rare and then I'm not bothered about nationality league or club so what that's saying is it when you do this SBC look for one player between 50 and 80 rating uh, it doesn't matter how many because we're only after one so if max player from the same club is one ignore the player positions gold rare and it will go off and it'll find a rare player as long as you've got one that's untradeable only. Then, after it's done that one, I've said, right, same sort of thing, but now I want you to look for gold common players. Players count 10, max players from the same club 10, ignore player positions, job done. And that's how it's generating this SBC. So I will just show you how I would set this up from scratch. So I need to remember what we need here. So we need the rare player first, and then we need the um, common players. So... The first time you come in here, we'll do it completely from blank. It would <laughs> it would look like that. So I'm going to add and then I'm going to say rating low to high. So there's different ways you can build it. You can say highest quick sell rating low to high, most recent, whatever you want. But generally, you're looking for the you know least valuable players in your uh, bunch of players that you own. Untradables only because you're probably going to want to sell your tradable players if you've got some. But you can have tradable included if you wish. But generally, I would say fill your SBCs with untradable first. So then you can set your minimum maximum rating. So if you had um, you know, players that you really want to keep, but at this late stage of the season, it doesn't really matter. But I'll, I think I set 50 to 80. And then I said player count one, max player from the same club one, ignore player positions. Quality was gold. But rarity was rare okay so that's the first one done and then the second one i said okay so we want rating low to high we want untradables only we'll do 50 to 80 again uh or maybe 80 we can see whether that'll do it i think that'll do it uh 10 and then 10 ignore player positions quality gold rarity common and then we just save it so if we try that template all we then want to check is, is it fulfilling these? And if, it's, if it is great, and does it look like it's sensible? And this does. Look, we've got 75s coming in, 76s. It's going from low to high, which is exactly what we want. It's filled in the crafting upgrade for us. And I'm pretty happy with that. So if I am happy, I go down here and I hit submit. If I'm not happy, I can clear the squad and it won't do anything. But these players will not be traded in until I hit that submit button. Okay, so I've submitted that now and then you're like, well, what happened? What will have happened is in the store, you will have an extra pack that will have been uh, generated. So you can see I've still got 27, 77 plus times five rare gold players packs to open. Now, also what's going to happen from time to time is you're going to have unassigned items. So I'm going to just show you how we use these and then I'm going to show you how we um, sort of regenerate these, why these appeared. Okay, so you can see I've got an 83, an 81, a 78, and a 78. Now, I could, if they were higher score, use them in other squad building challenges, but just because I'm feeling lazy, I'm going to use these in that same challenge, but I'm going to use these first before we populate the rest. 
So we're going to go squad build and challenge again. Go to my favourites. And we will go with that. Uh, what one was it? I've forgotten now. It's that one, isn't it? So we want exactly gold. But I'm going to say use the uh, unassigned players first. Okay, so we're going to say there they are. So we've got 83, 81, 78, 78. Remember, they were the ones that I haven't put to my club. I haven't quick sold them or anything. I'm just using them straight away. So I'm not having to bin them, quick sell them for zero coins. So I may as well use them in a squad builder challenge. Then I'll hit this build squad, build using template. And this time I'll just hit the shortcut just to show you that works. So I'm going to say build using template key T. And that saves me having to click stuff. So obviously, if you learn the shortcuts, that's going to speed up your workflow like it's not quick enough already. But if you want to do that, you can. So when we're done with that, we can just submit. So you can see we've also got the exchange players here. So key S. So I'll type that and we're done. And what that will have done, if we go and have a little look here back in the store, it's got rid of those players that we didn't have, sorry, that we didn't assign to the club because they were duplicates. And our packs will have updated. So this was 27 before, it's now 28. So you can also open up your packs in the app. So let's do that. And what, you're, of course, you're going to get by doing this lots is you're going to get duplicates and all kinds of things. So here you can see we've got a couple of items that we don't have duplicates of, but these are untradeable. We can see that immediately here. So there's nothing worth, you know, these aren't worth anything, but I don't currently have them. So I may as well keep them. So I can click this dot, dot, dot. I can say store all in club. Now these are my three duplicates and this is exactly what we had a minute ago. So what I can do is another squad builder challenge where I just chuck these in. Now obviously you're not going to be able to do this forever because you're soon going to eventually run out of players. But you may as well just keep using them while you can. So you sort of end up having to either quick sell them or use them in a squad build and challenge straight away before you open up the next pack. Because you have to deal with your unsold players before you open up the next pack. So we'll put them in again. So we'll go unassigned and then we'll say use the uh, template. And we've done it again. The point I suppose I'm trying to bang home here is this is super fast super super fast so let's have a little look at some other ones and see what else you could do with this so you got the gold upgrade here which is that one that we did so we're happy with that one um we could also go for if i just think about this a minute i think there's one is it the daily is it the daily gold yeah the daily gold upgrade this is two spcs so we've got bronze challenge and a silver challenge so if we look at the bronze one first, we'll start the challenge. I've already built a template. You can see it says exactly bronze, number of players in the squad 11. So I'll have a little look at the template just to show you that's how it was built. Slightly different, max 65, still using untradeables, but I've not bothered built, putting in the rarity or anything like that. But having a little look at it, I probably should. So I should probably say, don't use my rare players. Let's just change that to that. Uh, and then say, build using the template. And you can see I've not quite got enough players because I must have a, only a few left of these bronze uh, that are untradeable. So I would have to go and use a different player here. If that's the case, you could just go in and find a player here. So you can select that one, add a player and go quality bronze and then just see what you've got. So I'll go rate in low to high um, and just see what I've got in my team that would work here. So I may have some that are tradable, but this dude here would be fine. So if you get the odd one where it's not in your usual uh, pale tools filter, you could still fill it that way. Submit. And that one is done. Now the silver challenge, we do exactly the same way. I've got a template built similar, but for sil silver players, uh, I'll do that and we'll submit. And we are good. And it'll say, it, you'll sometimes get this. If you've got a squad that's using one of these, um, you may want to go, oh, actually, I don't want to use that player. So that's up to you. I don't really care. I'm, I'm done with that little objective that I was working on. So I'll submit this one. And that is all good. So that's all done. And if we go back to the store, what we'll see now is we've got an 11 gold players pack um, that we earned from doing that one, as well as all these other packs. So that works really, really well. So you can see as we go through, um, you're going to get some more rare things. So I'll just see if I've got a good pack where we get a rarer player. Because there's just one more thing I'd probably quite like to show you about these squad building challenges which is if this is good so we've got a, a banza there but it's not one that i own so we're going to keep those so we'll keep those there store all in club uh let's just see whether we get a really nice player let's try an 84 plus times 10 see whether we get anyone good 89 raw i have a feeling i already have that player no i haven't i must have used them on something that's fine so we'll store all those but check it out i've got an 89 player here 
and another 89, another 88, and an 86. So this is a nice example where you could think about building a squad with these 89s, 88s players um, that sort of fulfill another objective in the squad building challenge. So that's what I would be thinking of. There's a couple of things I could do. I could either put each of these into an 89 duplicate. So if we have a little look, so we've got Yao Pedro. Uh, I could copy the player name. So we'll do that and then have a little look in the SBCs. And I could think about doing a challenge that makes use of those good players. So for example, the 84 times 10 upgrade, but I need a team of the season or team of the week, minimum one player. So if we have a little look back at those, sorry, SBCs, no, actually the store, look at my unassigned items. One nice thing is you've got this option to do the foot GG search. So you can just check if any of these are special cards. So you can see we've got that one there is not, I don't think this one is either. So we'll have a little look. Uh, so you wait for heroes and neither is this one. So I can't really do that challenge with these players, but I could, so let's take Bowie here. Uh, we'll copy the player name, we'll go to the SPCs, and we'll have a little look at ex exchanges. So he's an 88, and then what I'll say is I'll pick this one here, and then I'll add a player, and I'll type in my player name here, which I'll just paste, search, there he is, and you just need to uncheck goalkeeper. Uh, when we do that, oh, for some reason that's still, oh, because we've got bronze selected, so we we'll search again. And you can see there is the player. So we'll say swap them in. And you can see minimum 88, number of players in the squad one, submit. That was probably a terrible use of that player, but I've got loads of players, so I don't really mind. Um, but just giving you different ways that you could work with it. A um, couple of other things that can be quite nice as well with this system, uh, which I'll give you just as a couple of bonuses. So if we go back to the store and we have a little look at those items, is you can see the sort of value of players. Uh, very easy by going to foot GG when you've seen a player like this, uh, which can be quite nice. But in this case, it's an untradeable player, so that's not that useful. But sometimes, you know, you can look at the transfer market, search the transfer market for whatever player you want. Let's say we're interested in Lionel Messi, right? So we'll do this and we'll say search for Lionel Messi. And then we see all the listings for Messi. So we can see there's like the super duper card. But look at this difference in price, right? 3 million start price, 1.74 million. Someone's bid 1.9 million for this one here. How do we know if that's a good price? We can use PAL tools again. So if we select this here, what you can do is you can say find the lowest market price here. And it says, actually, that's the lowest price that you can see at the minute. So that seems like a pretty good bid at the minute if you're interested in that card you know if you want the best of the best that seems quite reasonable you can double check that with foot gg search as well so if we have a little look on here we can see uh, the lowest it ever listed in sort of the last however long uh, was that uh, it looks like price range varies from 233,000. i guess that was a long time ago to 4.4 million and the average is 1.9 million. So that seems like a sharp buy that we've got there, quite reasonable. So you can basically use this to find out whether a card is good value and think about whether you want to make a bid on a card. Um, you know, it's another upside of Pale Tools. The one thing I will say is if you start sniping hundreds of cards, you're going to get in trouble with EA most likely for being too sharp on your bids. So don't start sitting there bidding on hundreds of players. Uh, that's a risk with Pale Tools that that'll get spotted by EA and you may well be banned for it. But the squad building challenge is the only thing that seems to happen is if you hit the cap, which I think is something like 250, 260 squad building challenges in a day, you may get a soft ban. And what a soft ban is, is it purely locks you out of the web app for so many hours. I think it's about three hours. You can still play the game in your normal console or PC, but you can't use the web app for that period of time. So just bear that in mind as you're doing your squad building challenges you can see I've done loads of these today so I've, I've done about 70 odd and we're still good you know everything is happy 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 today so that's all good so there you go that's how pale tools works let me know how you get on with it let me know if there's anything awesome in there that I've missed that you think we should share with other people that would be cool as well if this was useful to you hit that subscribe will you let me know with a little comment and a little uh, thumbs up would be much appreciated and if you subscribe to my channel, I've got loads of stuff planned for FC24, also FC25. So hit that subscribe, help me support the channel, and we'll see how we go in the future. But hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching.